Hi there, this is Honey and you're watching Tea Time. If you're a senior executive of your company, the thought about giving up may have crossed your mind in those last few weeks. You know, between um, managing investors and your boards, um, managing your leadership team, creating new policies and all of that at once, I mean, like, who wouldn't need a break? And I guess the thought about going on a Caribbean vacation sounds really heavenly right about now but you may not necessarily have the chance to do that. So I would love to give you a couple of ideas of what you can do, even if you have just a day or two to get away. But before I get there, a few principles that I would love for you to apply. The first principle is really to get a change of scenery. Get out of the house. I mean, as soon as we're in the same environment, it's so easy to drift back into our day-to-day -day routine. The second one is that I would love for you to get out into nature. I mean, it's so healing what nature can, does, can do. It, it reduces our anxiety, it improves our working memory, it makes us feel better. The third thing I would say is get some sunshine. Um, well, from one, from, um, from a more chemical hormone perspective, vitamin D really um, helps our brain chemistry. If we're low on vitamin D, it's one of the first signs of depression. So I often actually recommend just looking into the need of having a supplement, a good vitamin D supplement. But even other than that, just feeling the sun on your skin feels so good. And then I would also recommend that you get some sleep. And when I say get some sleep is sleep as long as your body wants you to sleep. No alarms, no kids are allowed to run in. I mean, just get some pr proper rest. We know that when we have bad sleep, it really impairs our brain function. And you know, weight gain is associated with that too. But on the other side, good sleep um, you know, improves your working memory. And it also really helps with your problem solving skills. So get some sleep as well. Um, and then you have a decision to make. Are you going by yourself? Are you doing something with the family? Or are you inviting friends? And I think there's a benefit to each of them. When you go by yourself, quite frankly, it really accelerates your relaxation because you get to do whatever you want to do, no responsibility to anybody else. Um, and it's just, I feel it's so rejuvenating. When you go with the family or do something with the family though, it has a slew of other benefits. You really get to know and understand what their current needs are, which you may have not been able to uh, look into while you were so busy these last few uh, weeks and months. Um, and it's just, it's gonna feel good to feel their love again. With friends, however, you know, you probably get the best of both worlds. You can sit there with a glass of wine and, and vent about what's happening. But at the same time, if you don't wanna join something, you can say, you know what? I'm out and they should understand because they are your best friends. So some ideas that I have noted down that the things you can do if you just have one day and you by yourself, obviously reading is a really good way, reading in the park, arts and crafts, don't poo poo that because uh, creativity for our brain is amazing and how to even create new ideas for your business. So even taking a, um, a what do you call it, like a, a, a coloring book and you draw within the lines, it's perfect. Um, going through old photos. Or if you are with your family, you might consider doing board games or baking or cooking together. You want to go for a hike. Or what my sister did, she camped with her kids in the garden, in the trampoline. They actually really cushioned out the entire big trampoline. Or if you have two days and you're by yourself, paint by yourself. Go to a cabin. Go to a luxury hotel if you would like. Or if you need something more um, structure, rearrange the furniture in your house. Something new would be great. Or if you are with friends, well, you can either with family, take one-on-one -on -one time with each of your kids or one-on-one -on -one time with your spouse to deeply connect with them. Um, yurting camping. If you've never done yurting, it's a great way to go camping because you don't have to worry about the tent. You might want to get naughty with your husband. Yes, that is on my list here. Or you just plan on your next vacation. Even if you don't know when that is, just planning already gets you excited. So here are some thoughts. Um, I hope that's super helpful. I'm about to have my tea today, green tea with lemon. But if you do like these videos, I encourage you just to please let, leave me a comment so I know. But also if you don't like them, let me know um, so I can make sure the content is valuable for you. If you like these videos, go on to YouTube and subscribe to those. 
so that I can see you every time I have a new um, video coming out. So I'm going to enjoy my antioxidant green tea. I really wish it would have had some Caribbean pineapple kind of flavor stuff today, but this one will do. Um, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!